Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're taking a look here at the introduction to Redis. So what is Redis? Well, Redis is an open source in-memory database store, and it acts as a caching layer or a very fast database. It has a lot of utility, but those are the two most common. Uh, and one thing is that because it's in memory, uh, that data is highly volatile. So there is a chance of a data loss. So even though it is super fast within milliseconds, like five milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, um, you know, it's not used as a primary database, but you know, there are tools out there that have made them more durable. Uh, so it really is up to you. Uh, but the other thing about Redis is that it's a key value store. So uh, it's not like using a relational database. Um, and so it has its own type of data structures, data types. So we have strings, sets, sorted sets, lists, hashes, bitmaps, bit fields, hyper logs, uh, geospatial indexes, streams, uh, and the ones in red, uh, I do want to go over with you because I think they're worth your time. Uh, but the idea is that to use Redis, you're either going to use um, like a programming library, they're pretty much available in every language. Um, and or you could use the Redis CLI. So getting my pen tool out here for a second, here you can see we're logging to the Redis CLI, we're doing a ping to the server, it gives back a pong. Uh, and here we're setting a simple key value. So we say my key, some value, some value is the string we are setting. And so it is that simple. It's a very simple database, but it's super, super fast. But let's take a look at some of those data structures or data types so we can see uh, how we're going to interact with this database.